so hey guys how's it going on welcome back to a brand new episode and today in this video we are going to cover how to integrate gemini api in your mern stack application in your backend so let's get started without any further ado so first of all all you have to do is come to aistudio.google.com click on create new prompt and then chat prompt and just give it a name as you wish for now i'm going to give it test okay so after this what you have to do is first let's set up our mern backend so this is my vs code i have created a folder called mern and after that i have done npm init dash y which has created this package.json for my file for this folder and yeah till now this is the basic setup which i have done the further thing let's get started with them so here we are in aistudio.google.com to integrate this particular chat thing into our mern backend what we need to do is click on this get code button on the top right if i click on it this will give me codes in different languages i want it in javascript so i'm going to get this right so click on copy and now what we are going to do is create a new file called let's say gemini api dot js now if we paste all this in here this is fine and good now first of all we need to install this thing which is and google slash generative ai so let's just save this file for now and install this thing let us say npm i and paste this so this will be installed for us now what we need to do is we need to get a gemini api key now how do we get this api key we come here again click on get an api key i already have one but I will teach you how to do generate a new one. So just click on create API key and it will create a brand new API key just for you, but you should keep it to yourself. Don't share it with anyone. Okay. So yeah, then we have created this test thing. So we are at here right now. So now we have to set up this Gemini key in our dot env file, which I have already done. So the Gemini, Gemini API key will be accessed by it. Okay. And now, here is the input we have to add our input right here let's just say who is virat kohli and then uh, we will just run this so that it will log it now to run this file in our index.js what we have to do is require dot slash gemini api now if I save it and now run this index.js let's just say node index.js now app running on port 3000 and now in a few seconds we should see a response as well and now you can see the response who is Virat Kohli? Virat Kohli a legend of cricket Virat Kohli is a renowned Indian cricketer and blah 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 everything about Virat Kohli is just with us right now so isn't that great so now let's just kill this and uh, yeah so this is the basic setup how you can use gemini api now how do i integrate a specific route after i call that route i want a response to it how do we do that so now let's just see how to do that okay so now in here i'm just going to create a new file let's say router.js okay this is the router and now we just say uh, const router router is equals to require express okay now my bad i have to make it capital r and yeah and after that let's just say const router is equals to a router so we have our router and then let's just simply do module dot exports is equals to this router okay so now what we do is create a post request let's just say router dot post and uh, let's just give it let's say slash gemini let's just say slash prompt post maybe prompt dash post and then we are calling an asynchronous function which take in a request and a response and then let's just within this what we are going to use a simple try catch block and let's just say log error within the catch block let's just say log this 
if there is any error and first of all we will be passing in prompt in the body because it's a post request so i'm just going to say const get this prompt from request dot body so now we have we will have this prompt okay so now what we have to do is within this gemini api this is the function which is run okay now within to this run i will pass in let's say a parameter which is which will be prompt okay i am passing in prompt as in parameter and i will not run this file right here and then what i'm going to do is instead of who is virat kohli i'm going to give it prompt now if i save it we have it okay now after this i will also do this result i will i would like to return this result dot response dot text okay control c paste now we have this now what i'm going to do is export this function let's do module dot exports module dot exports is equals to run now we are exporting this run function as well now within this router what i'm going to do is we got the prompt right now we will do const result or let's just say response is equals to uh let's just use await here and this await run and within this we will pass this thing okay we actually need to pass in the prompt here so this is the prompt which we got from here and we have imported this run from okay not expose cli we actually need it from our file so which is gemini api so now if we save it and then if i do return response dot json and then if we send this response we should be good now what we have to do is import this router in our index.js file we'll just simply go to index.js and here we'll say app.use uh let's say forward slash api and then we will use the router we just have in the dot slash router file okay so it's auto imported here and yep now we are good now this is the gemini api thing and this is the router.js now let's just test this thing so let's just say node index.js and so now we have this now i will open postman and this is the basic thing which we have slash api and our route was simply let's just prompt post right slash prompt post was the route so now we will come here slash api slash prompt post and it is a post request let's set up the headers uh content type will be our application json and then within the body we will pass in this prompt okay so let's just say prompt and then i'm going to say who is sundar pichai this time okay now if i click on send it should work just fine and sending request okay my bad i think i made a mistake somewhere yeah i guess so within this router.js okay i don't think we need to do this written thing here so let's just remove it save and uh, for now let's just cancel this request command j okay there is a mistake so let's so guys to fix this all i had to do is just have this required dot env slash config in my gemini api dot js as well because i'm using this process dot env in this file so now let's just test it again so yeah it's working so let me just show you first in the pitch is it has given me a response again let's just make it who is elon musk and if i click on send sending request and then we should get an output within a few seconds So here's the output. Elon Musk is a South African born American entrepreneur and businessman and everything else about him. So now if we check the console as well, you can see about Elon Musk here as well because we did console log. So now let's just see uh, another great feature. Okay? So now this is the thing, right? Now if I want to train my model a little bit, what I will do? Uh, I'll say you are a 
chat assistant for a restaurant restaurant only answer your chat assistant for a restaurant only answer questions related to only answer questions related to recipes if a user asks any non any let's just say any unrelated questions maybe unrelated questions tell him that you can tell him that you cannot help him okay now if i run this thing okay i'm ready to answer your recipe questions okay now we have trained our in uh, let's say the prompt and now if i click on get code again and go to javascript and now copy this thing and uh, come back and let's just remove this till here till here let's just remove all this and paste it again and uh, let's just return this result dot response dot text let's just return that control v now here is our input again we are going to pass in the prompt here so let's just pass in the prompt and then here let's just say prompt and we should be good now you can see the role user and it already has an history on what it has to give responses next okay so now we are just going to hit save you can also add this on your own okay so now what are we are going to do is test it now if i come back here let's just say who is elon musk now let's just see what kind of response it gives me let's click on send and you can see i can't answer that question i'm only here to help with recipes you can see that right now if we say how to make it how to make a let's say butter chicken let's just say how to make butter chicken and now if i send this it will give me it should give me a proper response let's just see and now you can see here's a classic recipe for butter chicken we have a pretty good response right now now you can get your response in the format you want you can change the response mime type and yeah so that's how we are just going to have a beautiful setup of Gemini and I'm Mern application. So that is all for this episode, guys. I'll meet you again with another brand new one. So till then, bye bye.